Hello, I'm Tony Kelly, and I'm running for supervisor in District 10. I was born at St. Luke's Hospital in the Mission, lost my father and mother when I was a teenager, and graduated from Stanford on scholarship. I moved back to San Francisco in 1989, to Betrayal Hill in 1994, and since then I've been a small businessman living and working in District 10. Now District 10 has the city's biggest challenges, but also its greatest opportunities. We have vibrant, diverse neighborhoods, yet the worst unemployment, infant mortality, and violent crime rates in the city. We have miles of beautiful waterfront, yet the worst management of open spaces, transit services, and public schools. We are part of one of the richest cities in the world, yet City Hall consistently cuts deals with big companies at the expense of our neighborhoods. We can and must do better. It's time for a change. And if there's going to be change at the board, if City Hall is going to start paying more attention to the needs of the neighborhoods, it's going to happen in District 10 this year on this campaign. Now, I've been a neighborhood advocate for more than a decade. I've served on task forces and advisory boards to the mayor, the port, and the board of supervisors. This is the job I've been trained to do, and this is the job we need to do. That's why I'm running to be the District 10 supervisor. When we look at homicide statistics for the Bayview Police Precinct, it's clear that things haven't gotten any better in the past four years. We can't wait any longer to stop this epidemic of unemployment, crime, and incarceration. This tragic cycle is bigger than any one person. But if any one person must address it, it's the District 10 supervisor. My plan for safety in District 10 includes the following items. $10 million in emergency support for families and youth to prevent violent crime in District 10. A renewed commitment to community policing and community service. And filling the Board of Supervisors vacant seat on the Reentry Council. Now there's no question that San Francisco also has to do a better job building affordable housing. Progress there starts with supervisors who are independent from luxury condo developers. That's why I am not seeking or accepting any contributions from developers, big real estate interests, or Ellis Active Victors to my campaign. Developers would rather pay money, and they'd rather do anything than actually provide affordable housing units in their, in their developments. And the city has been very happy to accept that for years and years, while telling us that we can't build 30% affordable housing in our city. If we can't do that for the 60, 70, 80% of us who need affordable housing, we are in deep trouble. The city's retirement fund for 19, is $19 billion, none of which is used to build housing in San Francisco. It's invested in Wells Fargo and Bank of America, so we're investing in foreclosures with that money, but we're not investing in affordable housing with that money. We need to do that. Here are some of the points in my affordable housing plan. A minimum of one-third affordable housing development on public land for low and moderate income households. Immediate construction at all Hope SF sites for the city's worst public housing. And low interest loans for small businesses and families. I've also developed in-depth plans to address unemployment, the achievement gap in our schools, transit inequity, and public health threats in District 10's neighborhoods. As you may know, a child born today in the Bayview can expect to live about 14 years less than a child born on Russian Hill. Some candidates run for office to be something, and some run to do something. I'm running to do something. I'm not a trained career politician. I'm not trying to climb that ladder. I'm not going to photo opportunities or trying to decide which side of an issue is better for me. I've been a neighborhood advocate. That is my history, my values, and my commitment. That's why I'm committed to having office hours in the district every day of the year, no appointment necessary. I am also committed to responding to every call or email to my office within 24 hours. That's why I've been endorsed by former Mayor Agnos, Supervisors Avalos and Campos, Assemblyman Amiano, San Francisco Rising, the Harvey Milk Democratic Club, the Sierra Club, the SF Tenants Union, the SF Green Party, the Patrell Hill Democratic Club, the SF Latino Democratic Club, and neighborhood leaders throughout District 10 and San Francisco. To learn more about me and my campaign, please visit my website, TonyKelly2014.com. Thank you for your time, and I would appreciate your vote this November. Music